Conflict is a natural part of our lives. When conflict is mismanaged, it can harm relationships. But when handled in a respectful and positive way, conflict provides an opportunity for growth. There can be productive conflict, where people have an opportunity to debate ideas, practice problem solving, and learn how others express ideas and opposition. Conflict resolution is a way for two or more parties to find a peaceful solution to a disagreement. You may need to mediate a dispute between two people, or you may need to engage in conflict resolution for yourself. Conflict is inevitable, and good conflict management tools are essential. One of the most important things you'll need is emotional awareness to understand yourself and others. If you are out of touch with your own feelings, or so stressed out that you can only pay attention to a limited number of emotions, you won't be able to understand your own needs, and this will make it hard to communicate with others and establish what's really troubling you. Emotional awareness helps you to understand yourself, understand what is troubling others, and help you communicate these feelings clearly and effectively. Another crucial element to effective conflict resolution is being able to pick up what isn't being said. When people are in the middle of conflict, the words they use are not the only way to convey the issues at the heart of the problem. Paying close attention to the other person's nonverbal signals can help you figure out what they are really saying, so you can respond in a way that builds trust and gets to the root of the issue. Keep in mind what you are transmitting to others during conflict, and if what you say matches your body language. Your listening skills will also come into play during conflict. Whether you can actively listen and really connect more deeply to your own needs and emotions and to those of others can determine if the conflict can be productive or not. Resist the temptation to interject your own point of view until the other person has said everything they want to say and feels that you have listened to and understood their message. Repeat the other person's words and ask if you have understood them correctly. Let go of wanting to win the argument and be respectful of the other person and their viewpoint. In fact, let go of the word argument and its negative connotations altogether. View it as conflict instead. In conflict, there's no right or wrong. There are only different perspectives. Validate the concerns of the other person, even if the solution is elusive at this time. Expressing appreciation can be a very powerful message, if it is conveyed with authenticity, integrity, and respect. Be introspective. If you're holding on to grudges based on past unresolved conflicts, your ability to see the reality of the current situation will be impaired. Rather than looking to the past and assigning blame, focus on what you can do in the here and now to solve the problem. You can't avoid conflict. You will disagree with coworkers, family, and friends. But if you follow these guidelines, you'll be able to resolve conflict without causing damage to relationships in the process. Thank you.